up. Hi, ako si Rufino. Actually, dalawa na kami magkapatid. Tapos sobrang close kami. Pag may problema ako, lahat, si, yung ate ko lagi unang nakakaalam. Rufino dati, sobrang easy bata. Actually, hanggang ngayon. Dependent pa rin siya sa family niya. Ano lang, uh, miss lang. Nung munti ka na mag-separate yung parents ko, nakakala ko sa movies lang yun or TV shows. Na-miss ko lang si Daddy kasi parang uh, ang tagal kong hindi nakita si Dad nun eh. Parang hindi kompleto yung araw pag wala yung isa. Ayun, so ang hirap lang. Sobrang hirap. And masakit. I miss you guys. Lalo si ate. Ate, sobrang miss na ita. Ayun, nakakamiss ka ate kasi namimiss kita. Ayun, parang sobrang close ako kasi natin. Sobrang miss na din kita mami kasi sobrang wala wala kasi nagsasabay sa akin, wala rin, wala rin, hindi rin ako pinapagalitan dito, hindi masyado. Uh, gagalingan ko para sa inyo. My dad not being here, working abroad for us, made me really close to my mom. I love how she takes care of us, even though it's really hard. I think she's really happy of what I've become, who I am today. Right now, I'm doing the competition for her. She has sacrificed so much for me to be here and I don't want that to put to waste she's my number one fan and I don't want to let her down huh thank you good nga umbuligan mo ko today balan ko nga kapoy ka pero may kag gobdas ka sa akin pero may man ka kinagwanta mo kang gata ka I was kind of disappointed in myself for what happened yesterday. I knew I could have done better, so that's why for today I'm kind of excited as well. Yeah, when I woke up, I was pretty happy. I was like, oh yeah, I'm still here. That's really great. When I woke up today, I told myself that I had to do better than what I did yesterday because I did ca got called as number one. So I knew that people are expecting a lot from me and people are using me as the basis now. I had a feeling that the challenge was something where a lot of the elements of the photo shoot or whatever challenge was going to be in our control, you know. I'm excited. I'm also a little nervous, but yeah. Bago kami punta sa pool ni Mark, nag-gym muna kami. Like, nagbuhat kami naman para pag pagpunta namin sa pool, like, medyo, eh, putok yung mga muscles. <laughs> para pag, ano namin sa, sa, sa pool, parang, oh, hey guys, ganyan ganyan. because no one got eliminated last night. Well, I'm sure you're all enjoying the amenities. 
basking in the sun, you're swimming, you're hanging out. I heard some of you even use the gym. All the amenities that Trip by Wyndham All of Asia Manila has to offer. Yep, that's super good. But we hate to cut your break short because we need you guys to get ready to leave for the location of your next challenge. Let's go! All right, as you guys can see, we're here at the SM store of the iconic SM Mall of Asia. One of the largest malls in the world with a daily average foot traffic of 350,000 people. If you guys haven't noticed, the window display is looking a little empty. Well, that involves your next challenge. Before we introduce the challenge, we'll need to split you guys up into two teams. Squad A will consist of Eno, Clarice, Mark, Carla, Nico, Stephanie, and friends. While Squad B will be composed of Latricia, Jaime, Rayana, Rufino, Sabrina, Julian, and Gaini. Now that you know your squads, we'd like for you to choose your team leaders. Team leader is Stephanie and Squad B's team leader is. All right, so we have Jaime. All right, so you know your squads and now you know your team leaders. Erica, would you please do the honors? Of course. So during the first quarter of the year, the SM store celebrated fashion and friendship with the Join My Tribe campaign, which of course us SM youth were honored to be a part of this amazing project. And with that said, you guys need to style yourselves as a squad using the in-store collections of SM Youth and SM Accessories. Later this afternoon, you guys will become the live mannequins of the window display and your team leaders will become your spokespersons. Make sure to bring your A-game because we will give the public the power to vote between the both of you. And whichever group lands the most votes will be safe from elimination. And if that doesn't build enough pressure, we will only be giving you guys 20 minutes. 20 minutes to select your clothing and your accessories. And the time starts now. When we found out what the challenge was, it was, um, it was like expected, but also a lot of things threw us off. Like the idea that it's gonna be live and that the public is basically, you know, our judges for that night is really interesting. When working as a group, medyo mas mataas yung mas mataas yung pressure kasi yung downfall ng isa pwede maging downfall ng lahat. Naging medyo smooth naman kasi binibigay naman yung best naman to work together as a team. Uh, in the team, I think France was being really quiet, like absolutely quiet. The moment he showed me his clothes, it was already on the rack. And and during like discussion, he's just smiling. Like, he's just smiling in the corner or something. He's not really contributing much to the group, so I think he's probably the weakest link because he's so quiet. Me and my team talked about how to approach this challenge because at first we kind of heard that there was something going on with the other group, like there was some sort of issue, I'm not exactly sure, but we were like, we couldn't feel that way. We had to make ourselves uh, be humble. We were like, we can't get cocky because we know the group that thinks they were weak will actually come out on top and they were just overthinking things. When the team nominated me as a team leader, I felt like, I don't know, they were giving me this opportunity and privilege to you know lead our squad. I feel quite confident with my team. Like I like how how vocal Sabrina is. She really, you know, helps me lead them as well. A pipiling ko sa leader <laughs> is para si Sabrina. Like kasi parang sa aming 
group like si Sabrina yata yung last time. Confident naman po ako kasi our leader Jaime um he's open with suggestions. Every, everyone is open with suggestions. Tsaka nagkakasundo naman po sa ideas. Nagtutulungan lahat. So as a team, that's very important. Messiah with my choices. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up! Hands up, hands up in the sky. I hope you guys were able to use your time efficiently. You can now all go back to the assembly room to prepare your looks as a team. See you guys later. My other shoe is size 13. Really? Well, my other shoe is size 13. Really? Oh. 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 Uh, Fino and Gaini, we're gonna have para a nerdy look. Then yung kay um, Julian is like a sports jock. And then mine is like a bad boy type. And then after that, after that initial one, it is up to you. I think it's better if you sit down on your command the first one yeah. you just that. Hello everyone, I see you're ready to rock the window displays. Now don't forget to try to engage with the people outside. And for the leaders, make sure to encourage the people to vote for your teams. Alright, so here we go guys. Good luck and we'll see you on the other side of the wall. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Tommy. And I'm Kyla. We also have Erica and Macaulay here, and we are the ambassadors of SMU. We have a very special show today featuring our SMU Go See Season 3 contestants. Now you have the power to decide which team is better. All you have to do is drop a chip into the ballot right here. And with that said, let's start the show. Okay, so today we wanted to look at paying homage to the 90s and having fun because we wanted to show that youth has no age. Hi, I'm Stephanie Kino, and I think today was a really interesting experience. So we looked at inspiration from cartoons like Recess and using bold colors and taking risks. And the idea that we had complete control over like our clothes and our styling made us all very, very anxious. So we also wanted to look at the idea of individuality but community as well. We wanted to show every single person's unique sense of style, but also that idea of community by having something that ties us all together. I think some challenges that we faced was making sure you, we picked the right sizes because when you get into that changing room, if it doesn't fit, you have no choice. You've got to work with it. I honestly think that it went as good as it possibly could have. Like I said, at the end of the day, being youthful has no age. Thank you, and please vote for us, okay? I'm Mark David de Reunan. I found the challenge very good, very exciting. I was somehow nervous because I was very conscious of what the people would think of our output. So I was really nervous of what the results would be. It was really stressful, but at the same time, somehow exciting as well. At first, when I heard that the challenge na we were supposed to style ourselves, I, I got excited because I love styling myself and other people. Modeled by Rino and Guy, Chuck, by Julia, and of course, his sweetheart, Rihanna. And now, Sabrina and Alicia for our characters. Hi, I'm Sabrina. I'm 20. Well, the challenge today, to be honest, like I was really up for it. Because for me, like, I really wanted to make mix and match. I was more excited. Of course, there are people um, around you, and then you're doing your thing. Like, oh my god, I'm going to do my thing. And then some people would, would really appreciate it. I mean, most of the time, I'm going to And yours truly, as the rebel. Hello, guys. I'm Jeremy. 
When I started speaking, I got distracted because when the ambassadors went to the fans, they started taking pictures and shouting, so I got distracted, so I started to stutter. But then, you know, it went well, and all in all, I, I enjoyed it. Please come and vote. This is Daryl and Andre so Chang. They're our guest judges for this evening. So what we wanted to do was show the sense of you can be individual and be unique, but also be part of a community. So I noticed all, all of them are wearing sneakers. Yes, yes. Heels. Yeah. And I wanted to show that boldness and I wanted to help stand out. So that idea of them all having white sneakers was what we wanted to tie in with. You know, they all have unique styles, but there's that sense of, you know, color palette and as well as like community. Thank you so much. Thanks, nice to meet you. Stephanie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So explain to us your collection. Okay, for our collection, we had uh, we have like kind of if you can notice stripes, uh, uniform type. The the theme of your collection is. It's like um, yeah, use yeah, you use university. And then how is your collection better than their collection? I think we have more all like bond. And um, who did the styling for the group? Was it just one person or uh, everyone did everyone help? Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello everyone. Thank, Thank you. And we are SMU. Go see season 3. Alright guys, congratulations on surviving the challenge. Thank you. We will see you all later in the assembly room for the deliberation. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I was like thinking too much about my performance for this day and I wasn't happy and I, was, I wasn't like that confident. I sensed that nothing's working out. We were trying to you know, suggest this. Oh yeah, it's a great idea. Oh, tama yan, tama yan. Oh, sige, ito yung gagawin namin. Hindi nag-connect. Parang yung kabilang team, they were super chill. Unlike us na, oh my God, anong gagawin? Okay, okay, okay. Sige, sige, kundi yung gawin natin. Sabigang, iba na naman. So, wala talagang, ano, communication. Like, wala talaga akong nakita. Our group had a lot of strong personalities. It's a good thing and a bad thing because uh, when you have a lot of strong personalities, you get a lot of opinions. And sometimes when there's too many chiefs and too little Indians, you know, problems can uh, arise. I think like the whole tension is because like we weren't really listening at the first part because we were too busy com coming up with the idea at the first. Like we wanted like an idea what what kind of color scheme, uh, what what kind of grouping like we wanted to be. If in terms of like teamwork, maybe we kami not fail. But like in terms of the color scheme, I feel like we kami not na work talaga. I'm Gaini Antigulas. I'm 21 years old from Bulacan. I'm a mathematics teacher. Growing up naman, we never um, experienced uh, major troubles except my dad or ma na nawala siya ng trabaho for a couple of months and we have to struggle. Nang nag-college nang nag na ako, my mom decided to go abroad to work to provide us everything um, Hindi ako nahihirapan na wala si mama sa tabi ko. Nahihirapan ako para sa mga sisters ko na mas maliligit pa kasi I know that they need my mom more. One thing din kung bakit ko din kinustong maging teacher is naging passion ko din dahil sa sobrang dami ko nakikita ng street children sa amin. Instead of going to school, namamalimos sila. So I feel just very blessed to go to school. So, in my way, I just wanted to give back. Hi guys! <laughs> Marami rin ako natutunan sa inyo. Tinuruan niyo ako kung paano maging isang chill lang na teacher without stress. Pinapangiti niyo ako kahit nagalit na talaga ako. Thank you so much for teaching me how to be more patient. Um, mama, alam mo naman na lahat ng to ginagawa ko because I know you believe in me. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagiging uh, inspiration sa aming lahat. 
I love you so much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the assembly room. So today, you were tasked to style yourselves as a squad and act as live mannequins in the window display of the SM store in Mall of Asia. Before we begin our deliberation, we would like to introduce the iconic stylish siblings. Both have become legends in the fashion industry, and they have been styling all our fashion campaigns since the start of SM Youth. Let us welcome Daryl and Andre Chang. Hi guys. The winners of the SM Youth GOSI will become official brand ambassadors of SM Youth this 2018. We'll join the family for all upcoming shows and events. We'll star in different lookbooks in a campaign that will be featured in all SM stores nationwide. The winners will receive 30,000 pesos worth of SM Youth clothing. And with all that aside, let's begin the deliberation. Let's start with you, Squad A. How do you guys think you did today? We think we did pretty well. Yeah. We tried to incorporate a lot of our own unique ideas and make sure that that was really visible in the end product. Was there any tension, any uh, issues that arose that you guys had to handle? Actually none, like we, we genuinely worked really, really well. All right, so let's review Stephanie's styling. Daryl, Andre, any inputs? No, we actually asked uh, Stephanie why she was wearing heels as opposed to everyone else wearing sneakers. I um, like to show that I was confident with what we created. It was like it made me feel confident and it made me feel bold. If you are presenting one idea, it would have been best if everything was the same. And styling wise also, the, the sweater I think that you draped on your waist it seems like from afar, it's like an entirely full dress. It kind of like changed your look entirely from instead of like a sporty feel, it made it kind of look like a dressy outfit instead of like a very casual, chill look. I, I was telling them, I think possibly because you had the role of being a leader, maybe you, you yourself uh, kind of didn't realize you're also still part of the show. If anything, you're the face in front of all them to really, you know, express the group. So that's where that kind of went haywire. Regarding the team player aspect, I would like to ask Carla, what do you think um, Stephanie contributed to your team? Um, I think Stephanie was a good representation of what we really wanted to uh, achieve. Did no one speak up though saying like, hey, um, maybe we should all stay the same style? I remember we were talking about her shoes and I think it was all in our mind that she was the speaker, she was the host. Because we all decided at the time, we were like, okay, we will all get our own outfits and then we will meet in the middle and we'll tell each other, oh wait, that doesn't look good, that doesn't look good. So it was all kind of our own personal style as well. And I think that's just who uh, Stephanie was. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, so right now we're gonna move on to France. Okay, France, um, maybe you can start by describing what you were wearing and why of all the pieces in the store you picked this one in particular? The time that they gave us the challenge, um, we said that we should pick our clothes depending on our personality. So at the end of it, we decided to go with one theme, uh, which is uh, the millennial version of Recess, Recess Time, a cartoon show from US. Did you style this yourself? Yes. I like the fact that you guys pick stripes as a dominant trend because it's a very strong trend for spring summer also. And the way you wore it, I actually like the fact that you slung your bag the way all the young kids do it now. It's a bit high, which shows that you are actually in touch with the trends also. Yeah, I also agree. Like, I have nothing bad to say about your look because it's very now, it's very current. So I'd like to ask, um, Stephanie, did Franz style himself? Yes, he did. When he finished styling himself, he came back to all of us and he was like, what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this? Who decided for the bag? I decided for the bag. I saw those types of styles uh, on Instagram. They, 
<laughs> During the, the initial interviews, some of you guys said that he made the least effort in today's challenge. I think it just comes from he was lacking a bit of energy. He also has the uh, quietest personality out of all of us. Okay, thank you. So let's move on to Carla. We are also giving you the chance to defend your outfit. We all decided that we were going to have one color in common, and it was the color white, which is easy to pair with other colors. But I also wanted to take a risk on the yellow color. It's bright, it's really bold, it'll stand out. It is actually a bold move to choose yellow. So compared to your other um, companions in the group, you and Mark, you guys are like standing out from the group more than the rest. Actually, what I was like really zooming in on was your hair. It didn't mesh well with the look. I'd have to disagree. I actually kind of like the hair. The thing that made this look not work so much for me was the pants. The vibe of the group has to be more relaxed. So I would have preferred if you pick like maybe a looser pair of pants so it gives your look a more relaxed and chill and like a more cooler vibe. All right, I guess we're gonna ask your teammates, how was Carla? In everybody's styling, she was always, always talking on, you know, what worked, what, worked, what didn't work. She's so would helping. you say she's one of the more dominant ones in the team? Okay. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Carla. All right, next we have Mark. I like the bucket hat. Yeah, I love Actually, it. Actually, I like it's this really look a lot. Good. Because you're playing with print and color. If I'm not mistaken, your socks had stripes, right? And then your shirt was floral, and you had bold color, and then the bucket hat. And it all, for some reason, worked. Yeah, so was this like your own look, or somebody helped you uh, with your look? Personally, I wasn't really sure how I'm going to get dressed. And I was also eyeing for a hip look, like something 90s or something bright, something loose. Eventually, it worked out, and I'm really proud of what I got. I think for me, among everyone, I liked your outfit the most. Good job. You made me want to buy that bucket hat, I'm actually. Gonna, I'm gonna get that bucket hat. Yeah. yeah. In itself, your outfit is awesome. I mean, I like the clash of the flowers with the bright yellow and the bucket hat, but it doesn't really go well with the group. Okay, so Team A, how much did you guys think Mark was able to contribute to the whole process? He was very open for opinions, and we gave ours and he listened. Yeah, I agree with Carla. He was open to new perspectives and like new styles. And like he said, he worked with Clarice on things. And yeah, so he was open to other people's opinions as well. All right, so let's move on to Nico. If he had to give like an extra, something extra to an outfit, I think it would be attitude. Amongst all, I think your look is the most natural looking or maybe because you really dress like this. Yeah, like you gave a different dimension on the menswear aspect because like, with Mark, he did like a Tropicana touristy look. You did like a skate, street vibe, yeah. Did you have a hand in any of the other guys' outfits? I did, yeah. I tried to help and make sure my outfit was somehow related to theirs. Been in modeling for a few years, so I tried to apply that experience to, to helping everybody else. Would you guys say that he was in the top three of the most helpful? Yeah, I wouldn't say that, but uh, he did his best. I think Nico concentrated more on himself, because personally, I didn't get much help from Nico, like about my dress, about how we're gonna do the shoot probably, but not on my outfit. I think Nico really contributed in terms of collaboration because he wasn't really like keeping these thoughts to himself. He was very open as well to whether what is what looks good and what's what's not. So let's move on to Clarice. Um, Clarice, can you describe your outfit? Yeah, so I chose that outfit because um, I felt like the white and blue plus the denim wouldn't really stand out. So I chose like a red beanie and like a red belt to have like an accent to my outfit just to put the entire style together. I like that half, half tuck styling. It's just, again, it says that you know how the trends are worn. The only thing that I'm not so sure of in your outfit was the belt, but other than that, I think your outfit was on point. In terms of styling, I like it also. But that's the only comment I have is like the choice of color that you have for your hat. It's really popping out. But for me, like Mac was telling me earlier also, is that you're the only one wearing shorts. Individually, everything looks great. I would wear those shorts also. But I feel like it would have worked 
if maybe Eno would have worn shorts because I feel like it would look cool with your outfit too. From what I saw, in my opinion, it looked like Clarice was very vocal. But is that how you felt, Franz? Yes. And you, Carla? Yes. Okay. Mark? Yes. Yes. Nico? No, I thought she was very vocal um, and helpful. I think if it goes to the top three, I wouldn't say. Okay, let's move on to Eno. I really liked your look, you know. It's very you. You carried yourself really well. Although I feel like everyone else looked a bit more street style. I'd have to say you were in the same style peg with Stephanie also. That was yeah, the point. Was the I wore like full on burgundy and Stephanie also wore full burgundy. I agree with uh, Kyla. It could have been toned down a bit, maybe with shorts. But overall, looking at it, Alone, it looks great. But then, of course, again, going back to the challenge, it had to look like you guys were a collective. How much did Eno contribute to the group, friends? Eight. Eight, so he was very active. Carla? Um, I would say also an eight. Mark? A nine. A nine? Stephanie? Eight. An eight. Clarice? Yeah, it's an eight. Okay, well, you know, a general consensus, you know, team player, man. All right, thank you, Squad A. Let's move on to Squad B. I mean, this is a question for everybody. How do you guys think you did during the challenge? Um, I think we all did well, like, as a team. But as we were preparing with our styles, there were kind of few setbacks, like communication. So when we were talking to you guys earlier, I remember as you guys were preparing, me and Mac were in the rooms, you know, and you guys were telling us that you actually had a story to your display, and that was you guys wanted to showcase different stereotypes in the university. Did you guys think you did a good job in justifying that? So let's start with the team leader, Jaime. So are you one of the jocks? Oh, no, I was a uh, rebel, actually. I actually got the whole school theme from your outfit alone. And I actually kind of get the rebel also because like a normal jock would not tuck his jacket in. Like, you know, you were kind of breaking the rules also. And by breaking that rule, you actually look like you are a very spring, summer, runway inspiration. Yeah, I like the colors, the blue and the gray, that they work together and the stripes. So coming as the leader... Yeah, coming as a leader you and you, you were like the first person that we saw. You actually nailed the look perfectly. Good job, leader. Uh, what does everyone else think about him doing his job? He did his job well? Yeah? All right, let's move on to Rihanna. So Rihanna, who were you supposed to be? What stereotype? It's like a sweetheart. Well, the first thing that we noticed, of course, when we were looking at your group was two of you were in heels. And if you were the sweetheart, I think I would have preferred you wearing like sweeter flats. Although I do like the off-shoulder styling, but yeah, the heels killed it. Okay, let's move on to Rufino. So you were the geek because you were in glasses. You were one of the geeky ones. Who voted you to be the geek or did you make that decision yourself? Uh, I made it. <laughs> yeah. I tried to be a high fashion geek. I tried to experiment on my clothes, like layered clothes. Actually without the jacket, the shirt would have worked, like the striped shirt. My issue with it is if you take the glasses off, it doesn't really look like There's a geek. Nothing else screaming geek, yeah. I think for this outfit, you could have done the exact opposite of what Jaime did. You know, just a, a little bit of quirk in it. it. It would have said more than layers. All right, so let's move on to Gaini. Gaini, you are part of the nerd team, right? Nerd. I am not really liking the heels, maybe because if this was worn with sneakers, it would have been cool. But when you paired it with heels, it looks more mature. And again, you always have to think that, you know, SM Youth is about being cool, being hip. But this one veers more towards the women's side already. 
So I, I agree. I, I think it's it, the outfit honestly was pretty great, except for the heels, which um, made you more mature and made you, if anything, look like the teacher of the of the school. She's a teacher. You know that? Oh, you are. Yes. Yeah, so well, when, when you, you got the look. <laughs> yeah, you got it down perfectly. Was Gaini in the top uh, three of the pe most helpful people in your group? No. And then no, no. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Sabrina. So you're more the athleisure type. So were you a jock or? Uh, no, I was just trying to portray a hip hop dancer. Like, I was one of the dancer. I feel like you capture the very loose vibe that we're after. I like the fact that you wore sneakers. I like the fact that you wore your shirt untopped. It's the spirit of SM Youth. I feel like I really like your outfit, but I feel like it lacks an element for me. If she had a bag, like a fanny pack, I feel like it would have made the look complete, more complete. Do you think uh, you were within the top three? Now let's go down the line. Top three. So let's move on to Julian. Julian, I really liked your outfit. I think you and Jaime can be best friends in the Rebel division. <laughs> you don't need anything else for this. This is perfect, just the way it is. Me, on the other, I would have like preferred it if you wore a hat, a bucket hat. Or a bucket hat. A bucket, a bucket hat, hat would have worked so well with that. Would have been yeah. Perfect. Do you think you're in the top three? Most helpful? No, uh, I don't think so. You guys? No. 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 Yes. Yes. All right, let's move on to Latricia. I like this look because, like, you balance the shirt with a striped belt. I really like it. I feel like not a lot of people would have worn the turtleneck of the shirt that I feel like that was very risky in a good way on your part, so good job. And if you notice, she played around with her shirt. She even tied it in the front. She brought up the sleeves. So you really gave it character. Good job. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Top three. No, 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 no. But you know what? Even if there was tension in the back, behind the scenes, but you guys delivered a stronger look compared to Team A. And it was cohesive because uh -uh. everyone had stripes. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone but in terms of a collection, Team B for me was better than Team A. For styling as a squad, you guys came as a squad. Thank you. Thank you guys for your insights. We will call you back later to let you know who will move on in the competition and who will have to pack their bags and leave tomorrow morning. As mentioned earlier, the squad with the highest number of votes compared to the other team will have all of its members safe from elimination. And the squad that won is Squad B. That means two members of Squad A will go home tonight. If I call your name, you are safe from elimination. Mark. Clarice. Nico. Carla. There are three of you left. I will only call one name. The name I call is the person who is safe from elimination tonight. You are safe from elimination tonight. Eno. I'm sorry, friends and Stephanie but you have been eliminated from the SM Youth Gosi. Would you guys have anything to say to the assembly? Yeah, of course. It's, it's only been a few days, but I genuinely made some really amazing friends. Actually, to be honest, all of us got so, so close, and it was so nice meeting all of you guys, and I learned so much in such a short amount of time. So 
I'm really, really happy I got this experience and this chance. So thank you so much. And for me, I'm really happy that I was given a chance and to meet these people. And thank you everyone and good luck. I'm like very close to Stephanie Po and it just sucks because I was like really rooting for her like as a friend. Girl, <laughs> we're gonna miss you so much. I just want to thank you so much talaga for like everything, for like cheering me up every day and yeah, I'll see you soon. I love you. It brings me down like it's really heavy on me. Earlier, we, we were both leaders. We were both the leaders of our teams. Sad to see that you know they're going, they're leaving. Na, and that's that's it. In my opinion, I didn't think Stephanie should leave. To be honest, I thought um, Ina should have left. Good luck, guys. I really did try to help as much as I could my teammates in terms of if I if I saw a problem, I would let them know. When Ina called me out on that, I was a bit I wouldn't say galit, but just gulat, just a little bit shocked by him saying that. I felt maybe he was. Not throwing me off to the wolves, but maybe just a bit of shock from what he said. I'm not sure if I'm going to deserve Cuba Dito, because I feel like I'm going to deserve it. Well, we wish you guys the best and hope you make the most out of your last night with your fellow contestants back in the loss. <laughs> I'm really happy that I was in the top 14. It's a big blessing. Na yun. Uh, even though I eliminated it, uh, I'm still happy and looking forward you know, in the future. I really didn't expect that the show would be this emotional. This obviously when you see these like reality shows and like you don't expect them to actually be real. But I don't know, like I can say that everything from here is actually like genuine emotion from everyone in the house. It's it's pretty sad building these bonds with like a lot of people who like have just become friends. But to be honest, I I'm focusing on the positive things. I think genuinely if you have a passion and you're set on it, don't let one little thing knock you down. Obstacles, like, they're there for a reason. They're there to teach you something. At the end of the day, you'll be happiest, you know, knowing that you went for it. I wish you guys so much luck, and I'm so happy I got to know all of you. Go into the photo shoots and go into the challenges really, really headstrong and really, really focused, um, and I think you guys can do great. Bye, guys. See ya. Monday next week. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Cove Manila. The remaining 12 contestants are challenged to do their first high fashion campaign. Oh, make me feel intimidated by you guys. Ready? Who will stand out in the shots? Hi, man. I like your expressions. It's good, it's good, it's good. And who will fade into the background? Don't make it look like you're just a prom couple. Uh. Guy, I need you to connect more. And the unexpected happens that will leave you all shocked. We're sorry to call you guys here so early. We just found out that there was a miscalculation of the average scores. This is the SM Youth Ghost.